another beautiful morning in Canberra, as Lake Burley Griffin comes alive. What better way to enjoy it than to cruise this magnificent lake? Lake Burley Griffin cruises will take us around this famous lake, highlighting many points of interest, that you may, or may not have already known. Lake Burley Griffin is an artificial lake in the center of Canberra. It was completed in 1963 after the Molonglo River, which ran between the city center and parliamentary triangle, was dammed. As a matter of fact, the primary water inflows to the lake, comes from the Molonglo River. So where did the lake's name come from? It was named after Walter Burley Griffin, the American architect who won the competition to design the city of Canberra. However, government authorities changed his original plans, and no substantial work was completed before he left Australia in 1920. It was further delayed by the Great Depression, and World War II, and it was not until the 1950s that planning resumed. After political disputes, and consideration of other proposed variations, excavation work began in 1960 with the energetic backing of Australian Prime Minister, Sir Robert Menzies. The lake is located in the approximate geographic centre of the city, and it is the centrepiece of the capital in accordance with Griffin's original designs. The design ensured that numerous important institutions, such as the National Gallery, National Museum, National Library, Australian National University, the High Court were built on its shores, with Parliament House a short distance away. By the way, if you're wondering about its size, it's 11 kilometers long by 1.2 kilometers wide, with an average depth of 4 meters. It's so big it has its own water police. Let's check it out. This harbourside area, is called the Australians of the Year Walk. It symbolises the award presented to Australians of the Year. Since the first presentation on January 26, 1961, our nation has continued to honour the contribution of some of its most worthy citizens, through an annual awards programme. If you look along the row of upright stone plinths, they're not in a straight line. They're all crooked, and they weave in and out, but, there is a reason for that. They all sit on a grey strip, with five silver lines on it. Those lines represent a music ledger, and each stone is laid out to represent a note of our national anthem. It's amazing to see the stones laid out this way, as it's the music score of the first 100 notes of Advance Australia Fair. Also, fixed to each plinth is an anodized alumina plaque containing the name and image of the Australian of the Year. There is one plaque for each year of the award. The plaques are arranged chronologically, starting at the western end of the path near the Commonwealth Avenue Bridge. Moving right along, we'll now stop alongside the Captain Cook Memorial Jet. Located in the central basin of Lake Burley Griffin, directly in front of the National Capital Exhibition, at Regatta Point. This is going to be a treat, because we've arrived just before 11 a.m. It normally operates between 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. There we go, right on 11 a.m. The water will be as drawn from the lake, at an astounding rate of 260 kilometers per hour and will deliver it at 250 liters per second, sending the water to a maximum height of 152 meters. Here are some really interesting facts about Captain James Cook, as well this memorial. You may have known that Captain Cook was an outstanding sea captain, navigator, cartographer, but did you know he was a practical dietitian as well? Yes, a dietitian. During most of his voyages, none of his crew died of scurvy. His use of fruit to avoid the disease, made him famous in his home country and around the world. Another fact. Captain James Cook was born on October 27, 1728, in Yorkshire, United Kingdom, and died on February 14, 1779 in Hawaii. Captain Cook was slain on the Hawaii beach, Kealakekua by the local inhabitants, apparently over the stealing of a cutter, which I believe to be a ship. However, the one fact that stood out for me, was this one. In 1769, Cook circumnavigated and charted the North and South Islands of New Zealand, he then sighted the southeast coast of Australia on April 19, 1770, and successfully navigated the Great Barrier Reef. This memorial was officially inaugurated on April 25, 1970, 
by Queen Elizabeth II. That's 200 years to the date his achievements were recognized by today's British royalty. This is just one more example of how well this lake reflects Canberra's brilliant planning, intentional timing and perfection. We hope you enjoyed our vlog on Lake Burley Griffin. By clicking to subscribe, it will help us to continue to highlight interesting places, for you to consider visiting.